and warm welcome to Dhamma Television Collective News. This is Tristi Khadki. Let's move on to today's headlines. Bushel increase in the market area of Prikriti Manda. Traffic police strictly enforce odd even system. Facebook group Gatti Sahani protested against rape in Kathmandu. Agreement reached between Dr. Casey and government. Dr. Casey ends hunger strike. Corona infection confirmed in 5,008 more people on Saturday. 100,000 daily COVID-19 infections for the first time in Europe. New U.S. COVID-19 average at more than 46,000 positive every day. Train and bus collision leave 17 dead in Thailand. Azerbaijan blames Armenian selling at Gaza left 5 dead, 17 injured. Here we go for news in detail. Market area of Rico de Manda, which has come to a standstill due to corona infection, has started to be bustling with the approach of the festival. Traders of Rikuti Mandab are happy saying that the trade will also increase as the activity of people has started increasing in the area. Traders are happy that the business has started to grow again after the business was come to standstill for a long time due to corona epidemic. Chintamani Prashai, co-chairperson of Kathmandu Lower Traders Association, said that the market and shops were operated targeting the Dasai by following and enforcing health safety standards. Considering corona infection, Customers in the area will be asked to use masks and sanitizers before entering the market. Co-chairperson Prasai also urged all customers to take health precautions when shopping in the coming Dasai, considering the state of corona infection. Traffic police has strictly enforced odd-even system on the main roads of Kathmandu Valley. To implement odd-even system, implemented by the government since August 8, as corona infection is increasing in Kathmandu Valley, traffic police has strictly enforced the forceful system. According to the Metropolitan Traffic Police, more than 1,000 private and public vehicles and public vehicles violating the rules of odd-even are under daily action. Until the government announces the end of odd-even system, only vehicles with odd number plate and even number plate will be allowed to operate according to the date. Similarly, as the festivals including Dasi Pihar are approaching, the department has started bringing festival targeted plans from Sunday to make the traffic management more efficient. Stating that the incidents of rape against women, girls and young women have not been stopped across the country. A group of young women have protested against the rape in a different style in Kathmandu. Protesters have formed a Facebook group called Kati Sohani and demanded an end to the incidents of rape in Maitigar Mandala. Protesters drew the attention of the government saying that women and girls are being raped even in the country where the president is a woman. Protesters demand that the rapist should be sentenced to life imprisonment to end the rape of women. Protesters say that government should take strict action against the incidents of violence against women and rape. Protesters also say that sex education should be given to children, adolescents and all women in order to reduce the incidence of rape against women. After reaching an eight-point agreement with the government on Sunday, Dr. Govind Kesi has broken his fast today, the 28th day of his hunger strike. He was on strike for the 19th time demanding medical education and service reform. After reaching an agreement on Saturday, Dr. Casey and Gopinath Mainali, coordinator of the government negotiating team and education secretary signed this eight-point agreement. Dr. Casey broke the hunger strike by drinking juice from the hands of the staff at TU Teaching Hospital, Vikas Nepali. The Doctors' Association and the residential doctors have withdrawn their protest program organized in support of Casey after he reached an agreement with the government. Demanding six points, Dr. Casey had started his fast from Jumla on Vada 29. He was brought to Kathmandu via Nepal Guns after his health was deteriorated. <laughs> Manali Swasta began Pratistan, Zumlama, Avasik Sampuna, Bolti Purvada, Evam Zarasati, Provandagari, how the Sajik Sadra Degi, MBBS Lagatka, Sajik Karikam Sanzalan Gurne Sudir Pasim, Protesco, Getama Sargari Medical College, Stavanagar Samandama, Geta Medical College, Go, College Bavan Nirman, Sampana Boysakiko, Hospital Bavan, Hadravas Bavan, Parvadari Bavan Lagatka, Bolti Purvada, Ru Nirman, Samandikari, Ossi Pratisa, Pura Boysakiko, Anya Purvada, Ru Summit, Nirman Kutaran Raikoda. So medical college, Sanjalan Kalagi, our sick canon in Vivas Nakalagi, Hal Nepal Sakar, Montri Parisot, Summit Sharaiko, Edigrip, Sasta Sicha Pratistan, Saman the Vidic Light, Adam Udia Divisana, Sangia Samsat, Son of the Face Gareda, So and Zari Vailagate, Otik Purvada, Zansaki Puragari, Rasta Chikitan Sicha, Duzar Pozator Bomozin, Bomozim, Nildarit, Samavidi, 
विक्रम शर्मा दुई हजार अस्सी फागुन दस गते भित्र एमबीबीएस लगाय का शैक्षिक कार्यक्रम संचालन करने सरकार शिक्षा विज्ञान तथा प्रविधि मंत्रालय का आयोजना मार्फत जगह Corona infection has been confirmed in another 5,008 people in Nepal on Saturday. According to Ministry of Health, tests conducted in different parts of the country have confirmed corona in an additional 5,000 people, including 1,823 women and 3,185 men. Similarly, corona has been confirmed in 2,672 people in Kathmandu Valley. According to Ministry, 850 women and 250 men and 2,100 corona were confirmed in Kathmandu. 203 people, including 84 women and 119 men in Bhaktapur, and 369 people, including 159 women and 210 men in Lalitpur. In Nepal, 14 more people have died due to corona, and so far, 614 have died due to corona. Similarly, 1,229 people have been discharged on Saturday. Along with this, number of people recovering from corona infection in Nepal is 74,252. The number of active infected people in Nepal on Friday was 30,818, said Ministry spokesperson Dageshwar Gautam. Similarly, there are 17,164 people in home isolation and 13,654 people in institutional isolation. There are 4,686 people in quarantine. Similarly, there have been 1.16 million 557 PCR so far, according to the Ministry. Europe reported more than 100,000 daily coronavirus cases for the first time on Thursday, as the region continues to battle a resurgence of the pandemic. Eastern Europe, at the time the number of cases exceeded 100,000, was the worst affected region, with more than 33,600 daily reported cases. The United Kingdom, Russia, Spain and France are currently the coronavirus hotspots on the continent. They have reported at least more than 10,000 cases each in the last three days. Eight countries on the continent posted record increases in cases in just the past week. In Europe, daily cases averaged around 78,000 cases since the beginning of October, compared with an average of 47,500 cases in September. Europe currently accounts for more than 16% of the total coronavirus cases and close to 22% of deaths globally. Authorities in the affected countries are scrambling to reimpose regulations to contain the second wave of the disease. On Friday, Spain's government declared a state of emergency to impose a partial lockdown on the Madrid region, which has Europe's highest infection rate. On Thursday, a court in Madrid had overturned the decision. Authorities in Russia are considering closing bars and nightclubs after reporting its highest daily coronavirus cases ever since the last such record in May. Several parts of the United Kingdom have introduced stricter restrictions on social interaction to try to halt the increasing speed of the disease. Belgium also implemented tougher controls on social gatherings after new infections surged in the country. However, unlike earlier in the year, this time round, there is increased opposition to imposition of such restrictive measures by authorities. The United States is experiencing a surge in positive COVID-19 infections, averaging more than 46,000 new cases each day, more than double than what the country saw in June as restrictions are slowly being eased across the country. Thursday saw some of the highest number of cases in two months with 57,191. Cases are rising across the entire country and no longer spiking in one or a few regions. The United States Center for Disease Control and Prevention warned that the U.S. deaths could reach 233,000 by the end of October. Projections from the University of Washington's Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation say more than 2,900 Americans could be dying daily by January. According to the COVID tracking project, hospitalizations have also been on the rise with more than 34,000 patients hospitalized on Thursday, the highest since before the Labor Day holiday. At least 17 people died early Sunday when a train collided with a bus in central Thailand, officials said. The tour bus was traveling with 65 passengers on board when it crossed the railway track during rain in Chationg Sao, 50 miles east of Bangkok, where the train smashed into the vehicle. Prating Yuka Sam, the district chief officer, told Thailand's PBS TV that at least 17 people died and 30 were injured. All of the injured were brought to two hospitals. Police said that they are investigating. The bus passengers were traveling from Samut Prakan province to a Buddhist temple in Chachung Sao for a smedit-making ceremony. 
At least five dead bodies were recovered from debris after what Baku described as shelling of Gaza conducted by the Armenian forces, Sputnik reported citing Azerbaijan's emergency ministry on Sunday. The rocket has hit a residence building in Gaza and destroyed it, according to the report. Azerbaijan on Saturday accused Armenia of violating the ceasefire to end fierce fighting over the disputed Nagorno-Karabakh region shortly after it had been due to take effect, adding that there had been attacks in two directions on the front line. This is all for now. We'll be back with more news and updates. Till then, keep watching them on television. May all the sentient beings be at peace. Stay safe.